of God is sufficient unto you. As a matter of fact, I used to think that the grace of God is more than enough for us at any point. Today we are going to read Psalm 18 and I am reading verses 47 and 48. Psalm 18, 47, 48. It is God who avenges me and subdues the peoples under me. He delivers me from my enemies. You also lift me up above those who rise against me. You have delivered me from the violent man. Wonderful psalm. Now, this is not the psalm of the person who says, God, come and deliver me. No, he already knows that he has received deliverance from God. I like to say this. In whatever situation you are, if you are a child of God, he said, when you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. They will not swallow you. You pass through the fire, it will not burn you because I am with you. Realize that in whatever situation that you have found yourself right now, God is with you. And because he is with you, no evil will overthrow you. No evil will overtake you. No evil will destroy you. i like us to bear that in mind. Because he is with you. Praise the Lord. He delivers me from my enemies. You also lift me up above those who rise against me. There are so many forces that rise against some of us. As a matter of fact, it might as well be all of us. But there is one guarantee in God. He will always lift you up beyond them. You know, if you are a child of God indeed, you are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Far above principalities and powers. Whatever games they are playing, they can play the games. But none shall get you. Because you are way above them. In heavenly places. None of them can get there to come and harm you. Yes, you live in the world, but you are not of the world. You are not subject to the rules and the rulers of this world. God will always lift you up beyond them. Say, it's God who avenges me. Is there anybody doing any harm, anything against you? Let the person continue. Leave it. God has a way of handling it. Don't go shout, God, avenge anybody. Don't look for how to bring vengeance. God says, don't try it, for vengeance is mine. Leave that prayer that you hear people pray, God, kill my enemy. What kind of nonsense? Jesus says, bless them that curse you, love your enemy. He didn't say, ask God to kill them. So leave that side. But if you live unto God, knowing that he is always with you, like Jesus said, I am with you always, even unto the end of your life. If you realize that he is with you, know that he is going to take you out of every trap that has been set against you. He delivers me from my enemies. Who is your enemy? God knows how to deliver you. You don't even know how he would deliver you from the enemy. You want the enemy dead? Will you live only when enemies are dead? Then you won't live because there will always be enemies in this world. You might as well die so that you forget the problem. But if you want to live, live in God. Live, let God be in you. Let God direct your affairs. Let God be with you. As he said, I'll be with you even unto the end. Say, whatever you pass through. Say, many things will be done against you. Weapons shall be fashioned against you, but not one of them will be successful because he is with you. Nothing that can be done against you will succeed. Because God didn't ask them to do it. He said they will rise up, but not by him. He has not given anybody authority to rise up to destroy you. And at any point that God allows anybody to come near you, he knows that you will succeed. He knows that you will always prevail. He knew that Job would prevail, and Job did prevail. You prevail in every situation. The word of today is stand firm. The, your God is with you. That thing that you are seeing, you are way above them. That confusion that they are creating, you are far away from there. They cannot do any ill towards you. He has delivered you from the violent man. Whatever game that they are playing, the guns they are cocking at you and thinking that they will kill you, 
whatever things have been concocted to destroy you and the members of your family, all of them have failed. The Lord has set you free. Father, thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. I bring that power for deliverance unto this household. Yes, for deliverance to this, my brother, to this deliverance to this sister. Everyone that calls upon your name in truth, even the one that wasn't calling upon you in truth, but now wants to call upon you in truth, the same deliverance. You are free. The enemy is no longer able to put you down. God has lifted you up way above them. And God has avenged you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.